السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام My name is also Yusuf. Um, I'm a sales manager living in um, UAE for about more than 20 years. MashaAllah, your name is also Yusuf. Yes. That's strange. Why did they call you also? No. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, okay. Never mind. Go ahead. Muhammad Yusuf, my full name. Zakala Khair. Um, sir, I have a question. Um, being a father of um, young children. How many? Uh, uh, three. Uh, son and one daughter. MashaAllah. Um, it's very difficult for, um, in this, uh, you know, times, um, these are extraordinary time in my, my opinion. Our children are not feeling um, to be proud as a Muslim because they are mixed up uh, with the many other religion in Dubai here and also then they go out. So my question is uh, how quickly we can say or how can we uh, make our children proud of our religion and bring energy in their uh, life for prayers and this is a very simple question. Zakalak here you sir. Together we are Yusufan, two Yusufs. First of all, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, Rasulullah. First of all, I too am a parent, and I have children, and I'm in the United States. So when it was time to put them in school, I couldn't imagine I would put my children in that school. That was the first thing. The American public school system. To me, it's a toilet. I can't stand it because the public school is just so bad. So I put my children in home school and we taught them at home. But I don't want to go off into that too far. I want to tell you something else. At the time of the Prophet ﷺ, his followers experienced being outnumbered very much by non-Muslims. But it didn't stop them from practicing as much Islam as they could and their children saw that and they had big respect for their parents. Unfortunately, some of us today, we are copying the ways of non-Muslims and then we wonder why our children act like they do. But the children are seeing us. They see us, we're, we don't even look like Muslims anymore. They see us saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. So then when we tell them do the right thing, they can't. They just can't. It doesn't make any sense. Like a man who says, <coughs> don't smoke. It's really bad for you. <coughs> it's really bad. <laughs> if I do this, what will happen? My children will grow up smoking and telling their children, don't smoke. That's all that will happen. So they will do what we do. They don't hear you, they see you. So try your best in everything you do and your family does in front of the children and always to do what is real Islam and insist that your children are with you as much as you can be with them do not spend your time with extra jobs make extra money because all that extra stuff is keeping you away from them and you basically are selling your children to shaitan for every hour extra that you work thinking oh I made more money I'll get them a bigger house I'll get them a new PlayStation I'll get them some new Game Boy I'll get them a new telephone and all the time you're away from them shaitan is taking them further away from Islam your time is what they need nothing else your time they don't want your money they don't want the toys they want your time spend time with them good time quality time recite your Quran to them in the morning Wallahi I spent every morning with my daughters. I had two daughters at home when I came to Islam. My other children were grown by then. Every morning we would get up and do Salat al Fajr. And then we would take out the Quran and we would start reciting. And imagine, I can't even say the Arabic words correctly. Even now I have a lot of trouble pronouncing words. But we still did it anyway. Today, I'm very happy when my granddaughter my granddaughter, who is now living in Saudi Arabia, is talking to me on the telephone. She just, she just turned three years old. She was one of the things I wanted to go to Saudi to see, but I didn't get to see her. Three years old, and I listened to her reciting the Quran on the telephone. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Your time, brother. Spend your time with your children. Spend it with the Quran. And, stay, and you know, read out the Salahim. Just read some hadith to them in the evening. 
and then talk about these things in life that they have a problem with. Listen to them. You don't have to be an expert in anything to listen. Just listen. Let them finish. Don't interrupt them. They will love you so much because they're looking for somebody who cares. This is why these children go away from their parents. Why do children go to the streets? Why do they go to drugs, alcohol? They go to those things because they want something. They don't know what they want. But I'm going to tell you what they need. They need you. They need you to show them Islam. Show them the way to Allah. And you can do that. Because that's what Allah made us for. Jazakallah khair, Yusuf. Thank you. I love that question.